Another day, another lot, and I am super excited to show you guys what we managed to pick up. That is right, we have a huge lot of around 272 games, and the games might not be anything special, but the deal that we got them for is. You see, this entire lot only cost us $200 and $92, which means we paid a dollar and seven cents a game. And these games are actually pretty decent for that price. So let's go ahead and check them out. So here we go. Here is a look at the entire lot. There are a lot of games here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just start off pile by pile, kind of go over some of the highlights, some of the stinkers, and then hopefully by the end of the video, we'll be able to uh, just kind of go over what we think of the overall lot. So let's go ahead and start off with this pile. All right, so here we go. We have a decent selection of games in this first pile. In fact, I believe there's one PAL game even in here. But overall, nothing too crazy. Let's go ahead and start off with some of the ones that I think are worth quite a bit of money. Uh, test Drive, I believe, Test Drive Unlimited actually, I believe is probably worth maybe, actually, I'm not too sure, but I've definitely heard of this game before and I can't imagine it's not worth too much money. Uh, so I'm, I'm thinking maybe around the five, six dollar range, it could be completely wrong, but I definitely do think there's some value in this one, mainly because I've heard of this game, uh, I haven't played it yet, but I haven't also ever seen this one, I don't think we have any in stock which probably means that it's worth something. Moving on, Dance Dance Revolution Supernova is actually, it's, it's about your average game. Uh, definitely, I think might be worth picking up. If you can get it for, you know, in a lot, it's definitely worth, but I don't think it'll be worth picking up individually. Tokyo Extreme Racer Drift is, I believe, worth more than $10. Uh, Warriors, I actually, Warriors Might and Magic, I haven't heard of this one before, so I'm not 100% sure. I haven't seen this one. Uh, then we have Medal of Honor Frontline, Final Fantasy X2, going all the way down here. Actually, maybe Shrek Super Slam might be worth something, uh, but these three are worth nothing crazy. Hot Shots Golf 3, nothing too crazy there. Smash Court Tennis Pro Tournament, uh, Tiger Woods, Madden, your average game. Stance and Revolution Supernova 2 might be, you know, your $5 game, so, you know, around there, maybe $5 to $7. Uh, Ski do probably not worth anything crazy there either. Call of Duty 2, big red one. I believe this is actually a PAL title. We don't have many of these. In fact, these are quite rare for us to uh, to get. The reason is because PAL is actually for international consoles. And you can tell this by the by the edge of the game, but also the say PAL here. But they definitely do stand out from all of these different games. Uh, these are obviously not going to be worth as much as the NTSC ones, simply because most of the people in North America, in fact, probably all of them can't play this at all because you need a specific PAL console to play these games. Moving on, Cold Borders 2001, probably worth nothing. Uh, SingStar 90s is probably on your $5 range. Disney Singit is nothing. Uh, iToy Play, nothing. Tiger with PGA Tour 2004, you know, three, four dollars. And then moving all the way down to uh, Rainbow Six Three and then Rainbow Six Lockdown. These are about $4.99 or $3.99 titles. And then I believe this is NBA Street Hoops. This my I know NBA Street Hoops 2, I believe, is worth uh, 15, 16 dollars for the original Xbox. Let's see if this one actually has the manual inside. No, it doesn't, but I'm sure that there is definitely some value in this one. So let's go ahead and move on to our next pile. All right, this next pile has, you know, you just your average games. Dance and Revolution Extreme 2 is probably around $10. The Sims 2 is about five, six dollar games. Singstar Pop is pretty common. NHL 2004. Motor Mayhem, I haven't heard of before. NHL 2K7 is about a two dollar game. Uh, and then moving down, NHL 2001, NCAA 2005. Uh, cheat, official cheat codes for Splinter Cell. I've never seen this one before, so I probably imagine it's some sort of third party type of disc. Uh, and then we have Shell Shock NAM 67. I believe this is maybe around a five, six dollar game as well. But overall, just your average uh, three, four dollar stuff here. All right, so we have our last PS2 game pile here. Uh, just looking over this, I think this one actually has a couple really cool ones in here as well that are worth some money. Starting things off, we have Street Racing Syndicate. I've actually never heard of this one. Gretzky NHL 2005, I don't think is actually worth anything, but I do remember playing this for the PSP when I was a lot younger and this was my favorite game growing up. I played the living daylights out of it and it was an absolute blast to play. So if you haven't played it uh, on the PSP, maybe the PS2 one is probably a very similar version. Uh, it's nowhere near like the, the current PS2 or the current NHL games, but it definitely brings back 
quite a bit of memories. Uh, Outlaw Tennis, I haven't seen before. Smuggler's Run, I haven't seen before. So maybe these two are worth probably your average stuff. Pirates of the Caribbean, I, sometimes these are worth uh, a little bit of money, around that $7, $8 range. Peter Jackson's King Kong is about $10, I believe. Uh, moving down here, I've actually never seen Demon Stone, but I believe some of these anime type games, if I'm correct here, uh, are worth some pretty good money because they seem to be quite rare. Uh, WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2007, I believe this version is uh, around $10, but some of them do go up for quite a bit in value. Final Fantasy 12, I don't believe is worth anything too much here. Moving down, oh, actually, Dance Dance, or sorry, Just Dance 3 for the Xbox 360. That is in the wrong pile. And then last but not least, we have NFL QB Club 2002. So overall, I mean, pretty average PS2 games. All right, next up, we have a whole bunch of just Nintendo DS games. Uh, nothing super crazy here. I believe these are actually all complete uh, in box, if that's what I've been told, at least. Uh, taking just a quick scan here, I believe, uh, maybe those Phineas and Ferb games are worth a little bit of money. I'm not 100% sure. I believe Brain Age actually might be worth either. It's either worth nothing or it's worth around $10. My knowledge uh, is a bit uh, scrambled on those right now because we've recently listed some, but I don't remember which versions there were. Uh, moving over here, Super Scribble Knots. This is a pretty popular title. It's either worth around five dollars, I believe. Actually, just the original Scribble Knots is about five dollars, and then Super Scribble Knots, which is the second version of the game. This is worth around ten dollars. Uh, and moving on to this pile here, really nothing crazy that I can see. But the best part about these guys is actually that they are uh, very easy to list. You don't really need to test them. Uh, because they're just cartridges unless there's any sort of damage that you can see uh, there's no scratches on them because they, it's not a disc so so uh these will be some very very listings that we can quickly list actually maybe that club penguin game might be worth something simply because uh club penguin doesn't exist anymore but i could be wrong either way this is the nintendo ds portion of the lot so let's go ahead and move on to our ps3 games all right moving on to the ps3 stuff there is actually quite a bit of heat there is also a lot of PS3 games, and for the price that we paid, this was an absolute steal. So starting off here with the first pile, obviously Black Ops 2 is a very, a very first of all, popular and, and quite valuable game. Uh, Call of Duty, it's not Call of Duty, but GTA 5, uh, you know, seven, eight dollars all day, every day. Uncharted 2 usually sells quite well. Uh, otherwise, nothing crazy here. Um, maybe Batman Arkham City, but it's about a $5 title. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, LA Noir, both high selling titles, uh, just because 2 is another high selling one. Uh, Killzone, ATV versus, or MX versus ATV Reflex is a popular one. Grid is a popular one, about $10, I believe. Far Cry 4 is definitely up there. And then, of course, Uncharted 2. Moving over, we have uh, Infamous, is pretty popular. Uh, Borderlands 2 doesn't sell for a lot of money, but it does sell from time to time. Motor Storm, I actually grew up playing as well. Great, great game. Uh, an absolute blast to play. Uh, G not GTA 5, but Gran Turismo 5, another absolute banger. Uh, it sells quite often for us. In fact, we usually bundle this one with consoles to help them sell faster. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops doesn't sell very often, so maybe stay away from this uh, from this Call of Duty. Uh, Bioshock Infinite, uh, very popular. Unreal Tournament is also, I believe, a pretty valuable one. Uh, this I believe this is Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat game sell very, very quickly and for quite a bit of money. And then Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, a very popular title as always. Starting off at the top here, we have, I believe, just a only disc version of uh, God of War 3 collection. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if this is either worth nothing or something. Um, so I'm sure that there is definitely some value as God of War games are definitely worth picking up, especially for the, well, there's not an Xbox. So for the PS3 and PS2 uh, games, we have uh, Destiny is not worth anything because I believe it's actually free now. Uncharted 3, Battlefield Hardline, I rarely see for the PS3. So it's probably not worth anything too crazy. Uh, Arkham Asylum is all right. Moving on here, another copy of Motorstorm. Blazing Angels, we surprisingly sell uh, 
quite often. Another copy of Gran Turismo 5, but this is the XL edition, so maybe it's worth a little bit extra. Uh, and then nothing else here, a couple of Assassin's Creed games and then Borderlands 2. So overall, I mean, for about a dollar a piece, we're, we're really, we're really uh, making out like bandits here. There are some pretty good heat in this lot. Definitely a couple stinkers, like some of these sports games. But at the end of the day, actually, NHL 14 is our best-selling sports game. We sell this copy uh, actually very frequently. I mean, they sell within two days of us listing them. So we won't have any problems moving those. But otherwise, this is it for the PS3 games. Let's go ahead and move on to the original Xbox 360 stuff. All right, moving on to the original Xbox stuff. A little bit of, a, of an Xbox 360 mix here. Uh, Ghost Recon 2. Actually, some of the Tom Clancy games sell quite well for us. Ultimate Halo Companion dvd set this might be worth something i've never seen this before tony hawk's underground always sells quite fast for us a very popular title we recently sold uh 2002 fifa world cup crimson skies is pretty decent uh project gotham racing is definitely up there seen it that's a no-go karaoke revolution is I, I believe maybe a popular seller amp is up there karaoke revolution party is also actually yeah this might be worth a little bit i keep confusing with dance dance revolution uh so i'm not sure if those are the same series or not uh ghost recon advanced warfighter i believe is pretty average one of one of the uh, original motorsport games forza motorsport i have played every single forza game including uh the horizon series and the original motorsport series i actually own most of them uh for my personal collection though i've sold a couple of them uh, but yeah, this is uh, a great one. Definitely recommend you guys play through it. Forza Motorsport 2 is also an absolute blast. Same with 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, as well as all the Horizon games. Definitely worth playing. Um, moving on here, we have a demo disc. Pretty sure this is worth nothing, but I could be wrong. My absolute favorite game, guys, Connect Adventures. You need to be picking up as many copies of this game as well. It's literally the best game. Obviously, if you know anything about selling video games, you know that that's an absolute lie these are the worst games to get in the lot because they never sell we have over like 50 copies i think at this point we have about a shelves worth of these copies that we're gonna have to liquidate soon because they never sell even if we listen for 99 cents they won't sell in fact we probably couldn't even pay people to get these off our hands because no one wants them so uh, we have deca sports freedom deca sports games are worth quite a bit for the Wii and 100 sure for the 360 pgr3 all the racing games sell quite well for us Top Spin, I've seen a couple of times. Uh, another copy of Forza Motorsport. Some of these casino games have actually been selling quite well for us recently. Ghost Recon is about five, six dollars as well. Splinter Cell is uh, somewhat popular. And then we have Tony Hawk's Underground, which is obviously a very popular title. And this is a look at all of our Xbox 360 games. So let's go ahead, or sorry, all of our Xbox original games. Let's go ahead and move on to our last pile. And last but not least, we have a bunch of Xbox 360 games. Starting off over here, really nothing crazy. Maybe NBA 2K15 is popular. Ooh, NHL 14. I'm actually very excited because we have ran out of copies. I think we're down to our last one or two because these things sell like no tomorrow, literally. I have no idea why these sell so much apart from the rest of them. Uh, uh, moving down here, nothing really too crazy. Maybe Dance Dance Revolution Universe. Uh, table tennis is sold a couple of times at Rockstar. Oh, another copy of NHL 14. Let's go. Moving on over here, Call of Duty World at War. Uh, NHL 10 is probably one of the worst NHLs. Uh, we have Battlefield Limited Edition. Just because they say limited edition doesn't mean it's it's limited. There are thousands, not millions of copies. In fact, these are just as common as the normal Battlefield games, so don't get that confused. Uh, NHL 7 is a pretty big stinker. Uh, Dance Dance Revolution for the Wii is, I believe, 5 $6. And then we have a Sega Genesis game. We have a Pro Golf Challenge uh, or Pro Challenge Golf. I've actually never, we've actually never received any Pro Genesis games in any lots, uh, at least random lots like this. So I'm sure this may be worth 5 $6. We don't even, actually, I don't even have a Sacred Genesis machine here. I believe Common Lad does. Uh, so, so yeah, this is a grand look at everything. 272 games for $292, an absolute steal. In my mind, there are a, there's some pretty low price games, which we don't mind, but there's also some pretty valuable ones in here as well. We, uh, this, the, the person we bought this from will hopefully become a more reliable supplier in the future. They said that they will be setting aside another pile for us for, an, of course, a dollar a piece. On top of that, they did drive out and drop these off. 
uh, which was uh, super awesome of them. We did pay them, of course, for gas, which was about $20. So we paid a dollar a piece with $20 for gas. Um, and now we have 272 games for $292. An absolute steal once again. Let me know down below. Would you guys have picked this lot up? What's your favorite game of this entire lot? Rate it maybe out of 10. Let me know down below in the comments. Maybe we made a big mistake. Let us know. What do you think uh, for a dollar a piece? I don't think you can go too wrong. It should be about, I believe, maybe a couple of days worth of work, assuming that these are in pretty good condition. If they're not, this will be a very, very long two, three weeks here. But this is about about a week's worth of listings here, about one to two weeks worth of listings because we do 40 listings every single day. Uh, so if we drop 40, you know, divide that by 200, we got five days and then we have the the other 70. So, so yeah, pretty good stuff. Once again, comment down below what you guys think of the slot. If you want to learn how to resell video games, make sure to go ahead and check out this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.